Hey, hey, assistant coach, how are you guys doing? It's me, Johnny Sports, and welcome back to the Pez Become a Legend series. This is episode two. I just want to say, unbelievable. You guys have crushed it on the channel. The first episode has gotten insane numbers, over 4,000 likes, over 200 subs every single day since we have begun this new career mode. We crushed 300,000 subscribers and you guys are showing an immense amount of love on this series because it seems like you guys are really going with the idea and really enjoying it as well. So thank you so much for being as open to new things as you have been because this is something that I want to enjoy for a long time. And as long as you guys continue supporting it the way that you do, we're gonna have this other channel for a long time, people. And this is the first day of the double upload. So keep in mind, this is gonna be uploaded. I'm gonna try to get it up every single day, but we'll see how it goes. I might do it every second day, but right now I'm just so hyped to get right into it. If you guys are enjoying this, make sure to support the video the same way that you have done last time. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you are new around here with notifications turned on to never miss out on any of these episodes. Boys, last episode we scored our first goal. Benjamin Aguero Maradona has gotten his first goal for Valvik. His first goal in the RDVC and he has shown immediately that he has composure in front of the target. Our team though, still not doing that great. We are currently in the 13th position after a bunch of games being played. We have gotten three draws in three games and that is not satisfying of course. But now we're up against PSV Eindhoven. Today we start off with the match against PSV Eindhoven and as you guys know our coach is showing a lot of belief in us. He's putting us back into the starting lineup and he wants us to continue playing even though we have a better player ahead of us in that striker position who is much higher rated than we are but it looks like everything is going our way at the moment. Now in terms of the player menu we can go in in here and we can take a look at our player right now. Within three appearances, we have gotten an average rating of 6.8 with only one goal. Obviously, I want to score more. Uh, one of those games we actually skipped just to kind of understand what happens if we do skip a game. It showed that we still played that game, but our, man our rating wasn't that great. It was actually quite bad. And here are a couple of comments from you guys that are obviously there to help me out. First of all, we have this one right here from Aid Elio, and he says, Johnny, I play FIFA, but also love Pez, and here are some advice, or here is some advice. First things first, you start off with some really bad stamina, so train it as much as you can. In a game, if your stamina is low, if you didn't score or assist, you're gonna get subbed off. Also, don't take finesse shots a lot, because on Pez, power shots are better. Also, uh, press RB twice on Xbox or R1 on PlayStation to request to request the ball. So now I finally know how to request a pass from my teammates. I didn't know in the last in the last episode. Now we finally know, and hopefully that's going to affect our gameplay in a very very positive way. Thank you so much for uh, the tip on the stamina. So that is going to be something that we completely um, try and train up as much as we can. I do feel like. Our strength is looking good so far, okay? We don't necessarily need to train. Actually, I don't need defense at all, in my opinion. I'm a striker, man. I don't need defense. So we're going to go up with the stamina. We're going to go up to five on stamina because you guys want me to uh, put that in there. You guys are pretty adamant about it as well. You think that it is one of the most important things for this player. So we're going to keep it that way. And there's a comment coming in from Saad. And he says, you get a contract extension at the end of the season. You can learn skills and other positions with focus points. Um, don't move to a big club too early as you might not play. So here's the thing. In the top right corner, uh, actually, the face cam might be there. It says focus points on this screen. And if we do get a contract extension, I'm guessing we get a few focus points added that we can, then can spread out on other things than the ones that we have selected at the moment. So we're going to be tr trying to improve the training sessions for our player in the future. Right now, though, we have a heavy focus on stamina because you guys really wanted that to change to allow me to play throughout the full game and have the best performance possible. Here it is. We return back into the Become a Legend series. 
PSV Eindhoven, obviously a massive matchup for us. I do not expect my team to get an easy win here and even get a draw. I'm just going to focus on my performance. I'm going to try and play as well as I can humanly possibly do. And of course, I'm going to try and make sure that we keep the stamina up high. That could have been a great ball over the top, but one thing that we have realized in the last episode already was the fact that my team loves to play balls over the top. Great ball over the top. Once again, we do get a touch on it. Our first touch of the game. Good ball inside. Playing it to my teammate. Getting it back. Playing it again. Shoot! Oh, man. I'm doing a decent job so far, man. In terms of, like, creating attacks, I'm actually really good so far. And here's another run. Header. Oh, the header isn't really going towards the target. Bit unfortunate there. I have switched off the camera now to the stadium one because I've looked through the comments once again and most people kind of said I should be using the stadium one. And I do like this camera angle. Um, obviously, it doesn't show as much of the pitch, but it helps when I do get onto the ball. I do see my teammates and I can also go ahead and dribble a little bit better than I can on the broadcast one because the broadcast one is a little bit too far away in my eyes. Dude, again, again and again. Long balls, team. Come on, man. Ooh, first time in our career to be taken down like that by a defender. That's another thing that we will have to get along with. I'm here, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. Let's go. Come on. Oh, oh, nearly scored. Even though you guys said I shouldn't be taking finesse shots. That was a really good one in my eyes. We got really close to scoring there in the 25th. PSV Eindhoven so far. Haven't had a chance, and our team has been doing better. Good ball. Shoot! Oh! Nearly scored. Number six, making a run in behind. Nearly got it done. Look at that. It's a great ball into him. I thought he was offside, but no, the defense was pushing out at the same time. They did not uh, expect that to happen. Corner kick coming up. I'm coming close. That is potentially mine. I tried to get to it. Play to me. Go on! Ah, good defending stops us from scoring there. Number 20, trying his best to get an impact on this game. Now making a run in behind, didn't get that pass. Oh, beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Playing it into my teammate, who shoots. Again, our team is rushing it a little bit too much when we're inside the box. We try to shoot from every angle, even though we shouldn't. The first half is done, and honestly... Already, I can tell that my player's stamina is down big time, which is, of course, going to be an issue. Benjamin, how do we figure this out, man? Your stamina is not going to help us here. Our team is trying to get it forward. It's good moves, actually. Go on, then. Played across. Beautiful. Played back into me. Oh, no. Don't do it, then. Don't do it. Play it now. Play it. Go on. Oh, my God. I hit the crossbar. What a finish. That was impressive, boys. Benjamin, he nearly did it. Bro, I thought he scored there. That looked like an incredible finish. We get ever so close with our shot on target. That's a free kick. Really? 80th minute. You can see me in the bottom right corner of your screen looking very tired. I might get stopped off any moment. Did we get stopped off? I think I did, right? I think I might have gotten so What a finish. What a free kick. Unbelievable. Rodriguez smashes it in from just outside the box. PSV. Ah, man. I don't feel comfortable, boys. I think I just got subbed off and straight away my team has conceded. Unbelievable finish from that free kick. Look at that from that angle one more time. It's Rodriguez who used to play for AC Milan. And now he plays for PSV Eindhoven. And we have conceded a very bad goal. And now we are watching on as our team is going to try and get back into this. I did my best. I don't feel like I made a mistake. I just feel like the stamina was the issue in this game. I tried to pre preserve it as much as possible. But as soon as you make one run, your player just loses so much of it. And it's a, it's a big struggle. So hopefully... We are going to sort that out in the future because if I'm only good for like 60 in-game minutes, there's a lot more pressure on me to perform within those 60. Otherwise, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to get subbed off. So we're losing against PSV, which was kind of half expected, but my shot onto the crossbar could have gotten us at least one point out of this. I think the ref will blow the whistle right here. 81st minute, it was decided. Rodriguez's free kick. 
is the one that finishes it. I want to know what kind of rating I got out of this game because I feel like I did well. Apart from all those long balls. Oh, wow. Okay. Apart from all those long balls they have played into me. Dude, Pez is realistic, huh? They are holding their hands in front of their faces when um, we're actually, like, watching post-match stuff. That's quite interesting. Didn't expect that. I did really well. That was my finish right there. I might have had some more chances. I'm going to try and look for them in these replays. Here it is. We had another big chance right here, taking our shots straight onto the defender, sadly. So that was a bit unfortunate in the early stages of the, uh, stages of the game. And then we tried to get some more chances later on as PSV had their chances, of course. But here should be that one finish that I hit onto the crossbar. Where is it? This one might be it. I think this is it. So we do come close ask for the ball it was played into us it's a quality finish but it just is not enough look at that wow what a finish that was that was incredible i really enjoyed the animation there as well but then psv ended it with that free kick so a deserved win i would say for them we have gotten ourselves a 6.5 rating um, the second best rating in our team, uh, number six, our captain has done his best job. Um, he has been really, really good. And apart from him, it was me who was trying to help carry this team. But our team wasn't good enough, even though PSV overall probably have a worse uh, rating on their players. Rodriguez saved them there. So my average rating still goes down. Four games played, only one goal for Benjamin Aguero. It is uh, tough out here, man. We're struggling and the stamina again is going to be a big issue as always. And even though our stamina has been a little bit bad, I should say, we are still being put into the starting lineup against Groningen. Groningen currently, I would like to see where they're standing in the league table. They're in a sixth position. We now have three points um, out of uh, four games played. Um, that's definitely not good enough. And our current situation in the league is a bad one. A really, really bad one. And PSV Eindhoven have won three of their games, lost one. And then Asset Alkmaar have 10 points with out of four games. So congratulations to them for the league lead. We do have a message coming in though, which probably tells us that we are gonna be in a starting lineup. Yes, we are again as the center forward in this match. I kind of have to redeem myself, even though I didn't really do too much wrong, but I felt like I let my team down by not scoring. I'm gonna try and get into this game and hopefully have an impact that is gonna help the squad get those points. Groningen, you are my next opponent and I'm ready for it. I'm gonna try and not get into positions where they can play too many long balls into me and of course i'm gonna try and preserve stamina as much as i can when my opponents get the ball i want to know one thing from you guys what happens if they get the ball oh hold on hold on this could be something this could be something go on shoot oh early on big chance once again it is reinstra our captain getting into the right position taking the shot beautiful plays actually look at that that is pure football but we didn't get to score there sadly i want to know what happens if i just stand still in the attack if i'm offside um do i get points taken off of me or is it okay for me to do so to preserve stamina what are the best ways of preserving stamina guys let me know in the comments down below again you can help me out big time here oh is that a good ball oh my god what a save from the goalkeeper great job and another long ball towards me i am sick and tired of these long balls i'm 175 centimeters tall team when are you going to understand that i'm not suited for that play style now i'm suited for this one though but we actually go ahead and then get in get into a good position a ball in behind Rinstra, come on yes it might have not been my assist but captain my captain he scores Rinstra with the finish Number six is on top form, getting into the right positions, and Valvike is up. Let's go, boys. The first three points. I want to get the first three points. It would mean so much to me. I played that pass into, uh, into that defender, obviously, which wasn't great, but it is a beautiful finish from our captain to get that first goal in. Now to try and get ourselves a goal or an assist in the rest of the game. Dude, it's 28 minutes. I'm already halfway down my stamina and I'm genuinely not moving around. Uh, that is a big issue here. We will have to try and figure that out. I just don't know how. Play to me. Go on then. Go on then. Beautiful pass into our teammates here. We get it back again. Passing it back. Beautiful plays. Go on. I'm right here. Yes. 
I'm trying to help my team to the best of my abilities. Here we go again. There's a run being made. It's a finish. <sighs> that was beautiful. Great setup, great shot, but sadly, just a little bit too much power to get it over the target. The passing play, though, was quality. That should help my average rating. Oh, dude, please stop with these long balls, team. Bro, I'm going to chop off the legs of my defenders. What are they doing? These passes forward are just awful. Oh, no, that's a great ball in behind. Our defense is out of place. In the 68th minute, it's again another time where we go ahead and concede. It's too easy. Man, I need the first three points of the season. I'm trying my best, but Kroningen, take it away again. We got to turn it up, man. I've, I've preserved my stamina as much as I can. I'm looking quite good in terms of stamina. I just need the ball at my feet in a good position. And luckily, we didn't get subbed off there. Come on, play it forward. Play it forward, guys. Play it forward. Come on. Not like that, man. What is this? What is this long ball football that we're playing, man? We're not... We're playing like a freaking relegation side, and I don't enjoy it at all. I need a team that can play the ball into my feet. Dude, another long ball. I am... I'm going to rip my eyes out. I, I can't... I can't deal with the passing play of my team, man. It's horrible. It's actually horrible. Play it into me. And again, it's a long ball. I'm not asking for it. Dude, it's so frustrating. Every time my center backs get the ball to their feet, every time they lob it forward, I'm 175 centimeters tall up against 190s, two meter tall players. And they're expecting me to win those headers. They're relying heavily on a young kid to beat grown men in a fight for the ball in the air. That's not the way to go. Our team is basically shooting themselves in the foot. That's their fault. I just, I wish I had some sort of influence on my team. I wish I, I could tell them, dudes, you're doing it wrong. Again, 6.5 rating, one of the best in the team. But as long as my center backs and my full backs keep lobbing the ball forward, I won't be able to do anything. I need better plays for my team. Now the question is, is he gonna still play me? I think he does. I think he does, huh? Are we going to get playtime in the next game? Yes, we do. Center forward once again. Okay, guys. Now, against Utrecht, who are basically just as bad as we are, we need to do better. We need to get these first three points, man. If we can get these first three points, I think we can carry on with the good form and try and like win more and more games back to back. If we get those three points, we could be pushing up into the top 10, which is something I want to do. I want to carry this team to a little bit of success this season. And in order to do that, we need goals. So please, let's make it happen, team. I need you guys to help me out here. This is the third game of today's episode. I need a win. We have been waiting the entire season for a victory. And we just cannot get there, it seems. So hopefully against Utrecht, guys, we can get it. Benjamin, just tell these guys to stop playing those long balls into you. Is there any way I can influence what they are doing? I just hope that we stop playing that style because it isn't effective. I am not ready for that style yet. I'm not ready to chase down long balls for 90 minutes because I just don't have that stamina. Although, in the last game, I did a great job in pres preserving stamina. In the second half, I didn't get subbed off this time. So we are getting better with the stamina issues. Oh no, not not this early. Not this early. <sighs> We're down 1-0. Utrecht take the lead at their home ground. Adrian Dalmau with the finish. And Valvike can look on and see them scoring. Guys. I don't know. Now, for the first time, we're actually down rather than going up against our opponents and then losing the lead. This is a different type of situation, something we haven't experienced yet as a young striker. Someone get their feet to the ball, please, I beg. Let's go. That's ours now. That's a good ball. I'm playing it through to my teammate. Play through to me. I'm right there. Come on. Come on, boys. Help me out here. We need support. Down the middle, we have someone waiting. Good pass. Rinstra. Oh, captain. You tried. Oh, that's mine. Go on. Good pass. Shoot. Yes. Assist. Assist for Benjamin Aguero. Let's go. All right. All right. 35 minutes have passed. 
we have at least contributed to a goal in this match. Yes! Beautiful control of the ball. Beautiful pass as well. Benjamin Aguero. Exactly what needed to be done in that position. Unselfish. Plays it through and gets it done. Look at that build up play. Ball comes across. We get in behind the defender and play it through into our teammate. Who shows a class finish by the way. 1-1. Come on man. Come on. We can get this. We can get these three points. I believe in us. Good tackle. Why? Why are we... It, hold on. Also... Guys, in the comments down below, let me know if if my team plays a over-the-top ball. Is there any way I can cancel my run? Let me know about that as well, please. Look at that. They have 63% possession, but we have had two shots on target. They only had one. Hopefully, in the second half, we can have some more attack in action. I do believe I've preserved my stamina quite well. Let's take a look at it. After kickoff, how is my stamina looking? It's looking very good. I've done a great job. But that doesn't mean you have to play a long ball into me when there's two people surrounding me, defense. There we go. Got some space in the middle. Come on, captain. Come on, captain. Plays it back into me. On the volley. Uh, I need to put less power on my shots. It's too much. No, stop him. It's a great goal. It's the same dude scoring again, isn't it? Adrian Dalmau. Utrecht take the lead. 2-1 in the 76th minute. Man, I'm trying. I'm trying hard and I just genuinely don't think I could do so much better. It's just that our defense is a shambles and I've, I've joined a team that was happy to take on a young kid and give him his chance. But at the same time, we are looking at a defense that just cannot cope with any of the attacks and... It's just not good to see. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be tough to come out of this on top to attract teams and let them know, hey, this kid has talent because at most, look at that. They just keep playing these passes to me over the top that I just cannot deal with. Well, what do you want me to do? Utrecht again with Dalmau. They are giving him so much space. They're, they're backing off. They're backing off while they should be getting right on top of him. Again, 86 minutes have passed though and we haven't been subbed off. So it seems like our coach is slowly believing in us for a player that can play the full 90 minutes. Go on, boys. Play it forward. I'm right here. Play it into me, please. Yes. Go on. Cut back in. It's a pass. Shoot. Dude, I did so well. I did so well. I tried to get the equalizer in the 90th minute. My team couldn't do it. Boys, 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 it just shows football isn't a one-man game. It is another loss for Valvaik and our career is not going well at the moment. We are stuck in a team that just cannot defend and doesn't know how to create attacks. We have gotten yet another 6.5 rating, the second best once again in the team. The rest of the team, basically all fives. It's just not looking good. The defense should get like a 4.5 in my opinion. They're just showing very, very poor form. Guys, look at the league table, 16th. Valvike only four points out of six games, man. It's looking bad, bro, and my average rating is keeping on going down, but at least we have brought in another assist to our record, and I'm not giving up. I'm just not ready to give up. I'm going to continue chasing down good results. I am going to try one more game, and that game is against PSV Eindhoven, boys, and oh, oh, we've been put onto the bench. Dude, I, I I had good I I did well. I don't I don't get it. Why am I being put onto the bench? You know what? It's okay. I'm still young. I can still get there. I am on the bench against PSV Eindhoven in the cup. In the second half, I'm going to come in and show why I should have been in the starting lineup the whole time. So here we go. PSV Eindhoven, best team in the league in the cup against us. Let's step up and let's get it done. For this match, guys, I'm going to go in here and watch it along. Hopefully, our team can at least hold it to a draw until I come in in the second half. It does say that I have a high probability of being subbed in, so we should definitely come on in the second half, somewhere around the 70th minute. And we conceded already in the 8th minute. Lovely. Okay. It's the cup competition man anything is possible anything is possible we can still turn this around i highly believe in our team so the first half ends and our team is just not doing too well vente up front for our squad hasn't really had too many chances and you can tell that possession wise our opponents are doing a much better job hopefully sometime in a second i can come on 
I come on straight away. Full half to play in the second half. Venter coming off. Benjamin Aguero Maradona coming in. This is the moment he has been waiting for. There we go. Down to the right. It's a good cross in. It's a good cross in. So, come on. Bro, finish it. Get it done. Uh, all right. We continue. We try. PSV with the cross. It's still dangerous. Still very dangerous. Gutierrez shooting. It lands right in front of them and they score again. PSV Eindhoven make it 2-0. Even though I had high hopes to maybe come in and turn things around, at the end of the day, it is our defense just that just cannot cope with the strength of PSV. I'm still going to try and get at least something going for my team and get some sort of personal accolade out of this game. Because at the end of the day, I have to care for myself as well. There's a good run being made. It's a beautiful pass. Come on now. It's a good cross in. Not that good. Good ball moving. Go on. Go on. Go on. Play it. Ah, play it to me. Bro, I'm right in front of you. You don't even have to go that far. That's a great ball. Move it down to the wings. The cross coming in. Come on, score from that. Whoever that guy is with the white gloves, he's awful. Play it to me. I'm right there, bro. Let's go. Playing it down to my teammate. He's down the lines. He's going to bring it back in. I'm going to play it back into the team. Go on then. Pass it to me. Go on. Benjamin. Benjamin, you nearly had it there, bro. You had it. Benjamin, back into the middle. What is that pass? Shoot! How are we not scoring? Let's go! It's too late, though. It's too late. Man, why does it take this long for the team to move forward and get something going, man? It has to run through me, and at the end of the day, I had a massive opportunity to score, and I missed it. I thought I had it covered. I thought I had a beautiful football on the screen. And we did. We had more possession than PSV. We had better passing. And at the end of the day, it wasn't enough to kick them out of the trophy. We only get ourselves a 5.0. Oh, what? No, 6.5. Sorry, 6.5. Again, second best in the starting lineup. I am up there at all times, but... I need the team to push together. A lot of lessons learned in this episode, I would say, guys. It just shows that the play style of our team is not suited for us. Now, I cannot request a transfer. As far as I know, I'm not able to do that. We are currently um, only like halfway through the season, not even halfway through. And again, I'm being put onto the bench despite my efforts to move the team into a better spot. It just seems like... It's not looking that good for me. In terms of negotiations, I can go in and request a transfer because I feel like the team is just not suited for me. But at the same time, I want to prove that I can do things with this team, that I can push this, this team forward and get things done. But sadly, the way that this team is playing football, it just isn't the right way to do it. Our attacking instructions, we are on counter-attack. So basically, every time we get the ball, our team lobs it forward. Build-up is on long pass. And it's just not suited for the team that we have. We should be playing the ball to the feet of our teammates. That's what we should be doing. We're not using the wide areas at all. And in terms of positioning, yes, people are maintaining their spots. Apart from our captain who booms forward all the time. Probably leaving too much space behind him. But it's just not working. The long pass isn't working and I need my team to change that. I wish they could change that. I don't know how to have an influence on that. Obviously, I probably don't have an influence on it at all. But um, yeah, you guys can help me out here and let me know what I can do in the future. I need to know a lot of things. How, how to cancel a run that I make in behind the defense. How to go ahead and change the certain ways our team is playing if there is any possibility to do so how we can try and learn some skill moves uh, tell me about some very effective skill moves that i can use against the ai on fifa i know all the skill moves that i can use against the ai on pez at the moment as you can clearly see we don't know them at all so you can help me out there as well but that is going to be it for today's episode a big grind for a young talent after a great start into his career the truth has kicked in and the real world is showing itself 
himself 16th position with Valvike, one of the worst teams in the league with potentially one of the biggest talents in world football but still it is a long long journey to go for and i'm hoping that you guys are going to be here through the ups and downs this one was a tough one but hopefully we can do better next time thank you so much for watching have a great day guys take care see you next time peace